whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the death, deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wing you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. He, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will so so that you will not strike your own foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord, start revival in us first. We are your servants, and we place ourselves in position to receive revival. We feed on the scriptures as the sheep feeds in green pastures, because your words are life to us. Holy Spirit of God, you raised Jesus from the dead, and you dwell in us. So we yield to you to energize our spirits, restore our souls, and rejuvenate, rejuvenate our mortal bodies. We renew our minds with your word, and our innermost being is a well of living water, and we are revived. Revival not only is life to us, but life to everyone who calls on the name of the Lord. Therefore, we intercede on behalf of the people. We call upon you as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We call upon the mighty name of Jesus. All of mankind needs life, your life. We speak and sow seeds of revival everywhere we go. We send forth angels to reap the harvest of revival all over the world. We put our hands to the sickle to reap the rich harvest of revival in our homes, our church, our community, in the marketplace, on the job, in our country, and in all the world. Pour yourself out on the people. Lord of the harvest, send forth laborers, positioning them in strategic places to minister as you pour out your spirit on all flesh. Almighty God, show yourself mighty and strong with signs and wonders. Holy Spirit, breathe on all the people of the world. We pray this in the name above all names, Jesus. Amen. Lord of the universe, Lord of this planet, Lord of the nations, Lord of our hearts, on this national day of prayer, we look to you. In the darkness, you are our light. In the storm, you are our anchor. In our weakness, you are our strength. In our grief, you are our comfort. In our despair, you are our hope. In our confusion, you are our wisdom. In time of terrorism, you are our shield. In time of war, you are our peace. In times of certainty, you are the rock on which we stand. We make our prayer to you using the words of the prophet Daniel. Oh Lord, you are the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant of love with those who, those who love him and keep his commandments. You are merciful and forgiving. You are righteous. But this day we are covered with the shame because we have sinned against you and done wrong. We have turned away from your commands and principles. We have turned away from you. You have promised in 2 Chronicles 7 that we, a people identified with you, would humble ourselves, pray, seek your face, and turn from our wicked ways, then you would hear our prayer, forgive our sin, and heal our land. So we choose to stop pointing our finger at the, at the sins of others and examine our own hearts and lives. We choose to acknowledge our own sins, our neglect and defiance and ignorance, even and even rejection of you. 
this day we choose to repent in response to our heartfelt repentance, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Father of Jesus Christ, in keeping with all your righteous acts according to your promise. Turn away your anger and your wrath from the United States of America. Hear the prayers and petitions offered to you on this, on this National Day of Prayer as we give you our full attention. Give ear our God and hear. Open your eyes and see. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. For the glory of your name, hear our prayer. Forgive our sin and heal our land. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who offers who offers us salvation from your judgment, forgiveness for our sin, and re reconciliation with you through his own blood shed on the cross. In the name of Jesus, amen. Father God, we come boldly before your throne of grace to ask you for the youth in this next generation, Father God. Not just the ones we know, but also those across the nation and the world. We pray for an encounter with you, the one who can change everything. Grant them a spirit of wisdom and revelation and insight into mysteries and secrets and the deep and intimate knowledge of you. Open their eyes, their hearts, and their ears only as you can do, Father God. May all this next, all this in the next generation know and understand the calling you place upon them, Lord. The inheritance you've given them and what you, Father, have positioned them for and their purpose in this time and hour. We pray specifically for those who are far away from you, Father. Meet those who are wandering aimlessly, Father God. Meet them with your supernatural power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. May they experience your presence and be drawn to you in a new way, Lord. Yes. We thank you, Father, for a ramping up. A shift has come in the heavenly realm. The operation of your spirit is going forth in, in a greater measure and a greater way to affect the next generation. May the power of God, the power that raised Jesus from the dead, become like a heat-seeking missile that goes and finds those who need you, Father God. We ask for deposits of your grace and mercy and operation by the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. We ask for supernatural encounters for the youth of Seguin, the youth of America, as well the youth of the nations, Father God. Reach them supernaturally. Reach those in the most secluded and isolated places. We pray for your divine presence at every educational venue in America, our high schools, colleges, elementary schools, and preschools, Father God. Make yourself real. Make yourself plain. Set up divine appointments and assist of your Holy, assistance of your Holy Spirit. Reveal yourself to the next generation so they would personally know your power and your glory, Father. Father, we thank you for pastors and spiritual leaders across the world. Give them ideas and new avenues to influence and cause children to come to you, Lord. Give them divine wisdom for this time and this age, Father God. We cancel any and all assignments of the enemy that come to try to steal, kill, and destroy from the youth. We thank you that blinders are being removed from the youth and that they know your truth and your truth will set them free, Lord. I pray a hedge of protection around them and I ask you, Lord, that you keep them alert and sober of mind, Father God. Help them to withstand temptation. We thank you, Lord, that this generation is rising up and becoming all you call them to be, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for restoration in every area of their lives, Father. We believe our prayers are making a corridor for you to encounter our youth and release your power upon them, Father God. We praise you, Jesus, and we thank you that you are a God who answers when we call. We agree for these things that they will all be done in the precious name of Jesus, Lord. And Father, we also come to you, Father God, asking you. We come to you on behalf of your holy institution of marriage, Father God, on behalf of all those who are currently married and will be married in the future. I pray right now, Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, that you will clothe your people who have taken your marriage covenant with your divine protection. Protection from harm, protection from the evil one, protection from the spirit of lust and greed. I pray, God, that you will give your people the strength to walk in your strength so their weakness can be made perfect. I pray for broken marriages, Father God. First of all, we bind up divorce in the name of Jesus, Father, that it is canceled from every, every person's life, Father God, right now. Lord, that your healing virtue would rest upon them and heal each spouse from the inside out. I pray for restoration in seemingly impossible marriage situations, Father God. We know that everything is possible with you, Lord. We pray for divine protection of spouses who protect and serve our country and the various armed forces and civil servant positions in our land. I pray for your conviction, power, and love to break down barriers in the heart of those walking out your marriage covenant so they can go deeper with you and their spouse, Father God. 
I pray for physical intimacy to be restored in the name of Jesus and renewed within Christian marriages so that desires will be met in the marriage bed, not outside of it, Father God. I pray for self-control for those married who lack it, particularly in the areas of substance abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, pornography, and spiritual abuse, Father God. I pray now to claim victory for the Christian covenant of marriage, Father God, that your holy people will be restored to walk uprightly and to honor you and their marriage covenant on a daily basis. I pray for your people, Lord, that you will bless us with your humility, grace, love, and peace. We need you, Lord. Show us how to love our spouse in the way you have intended us to, Father God. We pray for restoration in all relationships, Father God, and we thank you for peace in every household, Father God. And we just thank you and give you honor and glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 So we're going to, the, the older ones, uh, the, you, you guys pray around here. We're going to go and pray around, and then we're going to come back and meet back over here, and then we'll finish it up with the prayer. So if you guys can start praying, praying the Spirit, vamos a orar en el Espíritu. Whatever God puts in your heart, lo que Dios le ponga en el corazón, just pray that in, to, for this city and the surrounding cities. Esta ciudad y las ciudades que están alrededor también. So, you guys are just missed. You guys can go ahead and we can start our prayer. Y nos vamos a orar. Whichever way you guys want to go.
here, Lord Father, by one of these men of God, one of these women of God, and right now somebody's falling to their knees here, Lord. Somebody's falling to their knees, and I feel worthy, Lord. I feel worthy, Lord. I feel worthy to be praised and to be praised. When you receive it, when you pray. So dice el Señor, cuando ores, cree que lo recibiste cuando oraste. No cuando lo recibes cuando oraste. So we already prayed. So now what we're going to do is just thank God because he has, he has answered our prayers. And we're believing that God is going to do revival. If it has to start with, it has to, revival has to start with one person. And it has to start with us first. We can't pray for revival upon somebody else unless it starts with us first. Vamos a orar que el avivamiento comience en nosotros. And I believe strongly that it already started. Yo creo con todo mi corazón que ya comenzó el avivamiento en nosotros. Now we're praying that it go outside, out of the four walls, afuera de las cuatro paredes, so that God can do something in this city. I'm believing for gang members. I'm believing for drug addicts. I'm believing for prostitutes, lesbians to come to the feet of Jesus. Yo creo que van a venir drogadictos, pandillistas, homosexuales. We have decided to come out of the four walls yeah. and make a difference. This is how you make a difference in the This is what God called us to do. This is what God called us to do. This is what God called us to do. And for the world. Amen. Your world, maybe it's outside, your house, maybe it's the people that are around you. And it has to start with us. We have to start with us. We have to start with us. Every one of us is here has been commissioned by God to go out. Not to stay in, to go out. Cada uno de nosotros ha sido comisionado por Dios a salir ahí. So now, we came out of the four walls, we came out, so now we're going to praise God, we're going to thank God, and we're going to believe that our prayers have already been answered. Amen. So help me pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Everybody to help me pray. Father, we just come with you. Father God, hallelujah, see you today. We give you honor and glory. Father God, we believe, Lord. We believe, Father God, therefore we speak. We believe, therefore we speak, Father God. We believe, Lord, that you are turning things around. Creemos que estás cambiando las cosas. We believe, God, hallelujah, that every prayer that was said from the youngest to the oldest, toda oración desde el más pequeño hasta el más grande, Father, we know that you have heard our prayers. Sí, Señor, amén, hallelujah. Father God, they have been heard, they haven't done. And we believe, Father God, that we have already received it is because of your word that people are here today God and we thank you God and we honor you God and we believe God that the best is yet to come for this city and the surrounding cities in the name of Jesus lo mejor está por venir por esta ciudad y las ciudades alrededor de Medina en el nombre de Jesús esta nación Señor this great nation the best is yet to come for the God there is a revival God there's a revival God and we don't want to be on the outside but we want to be on the inside viene un avivamiento una ola de tu espíritu there's a wave of your spirit coming Father God like never before and we don't want to be on the outside but we want to be inside Father God basking in your glory queremos estar adentro Señor de esta ola Señor recibiendo de tu gloria siendo empapados Señor siendo sacudidos de tu presencia being poured 
into being baptized by the yes, Spirit, being poured out by the God. Hallelujah. God, He said that in the last days you were going to pour out, God. Yes. You were going to pour out your Spirit. Dijiste que en los últimos días ibas a derramar de tu Espíritu sobre toda carne, over all place, Father God. And we believe that, Father God. I believe there's dreams, Father God. I believe there's visions, Father God, coming to pass. I believe, Father God, there's prophetic words coming to pass. I believe, Father God, that that which we speak, Father God, has already happened in the name of Jesus. Aquello que hemos hablado ya sucedido en el nombre de Jesús. Padre, venemos en contra, Padre, de toda atadura en el nombre de Jesús. We come against every stronghold, God, and we find that in the name of Jesus. You have anointed us. You have commissioned us, Father God, for such a time as this. Tú nos has ungido, tú nos has comisionado para un tiempo como este. Not for tomorrow, not for yesterday, but for today. No para mañana, no para ayer, pero para ahora. You are the God of the now. Now faith is the substance. Now, God. So you are the God of the now. Father God, our tomorrow, Father God, has already been established, Father God, before we even get there, Lord. And we thank you already for our tomorrow, God. But we're operating right now in the now, Father God. And the things that you have in store for us now, God. The miracles that you have in store for us now, God. Oh, the restoration that you have in store for us now, God. Oh, the rebuilding in the marriages now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. I pray, Father God, that there be a shaking, Father God, of your Spirit, in the name of Jesus, Lord, begin to shake the foundation, Father God, of everything that is not of you, God, and tear it down in the name of Jesus, Father God. Oh, we cry out to you, Holy God. We come to you, God, hallelujah, in the name of you, God, in the name that is above every name, God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, that name, Father God, that when the enemy hears that name, he trembles, Father God. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that you are Lord in the name of Jesus. So, God, we just come to you today, God. Believing, God. Yes. Believing that for again the best is yet to come. Yes. For the surrounding city, yes. the best is yet to come. Yes. God, we pray for our president, God. That he will, Father God, that he would fear you. Let him have an encounter with you. Let him have an encounter with you. Through a vision, through a dream, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we're in a, in, a, in a place of two seasons, God, where a new president is about to impart. It's about to start, Father God, hallelujah. And Father God, we know, God, that maybe they don't fear you, God. So God, there's a, there's a work for us to be done, God to be praying for the next president of the United States, God. It is our job, it is our responsibility. We can either talk about it or pray about it. And we have decided to come outside and pray about it, not just talk about it, God. Because we believe, Father God, that when we pray to you, God, you answer, God. Oh, we thank you, God. You said in your word, where two or three are gathered, you are here in the middle, in the middle, Father God, ready to do, to hear, Father God, and to act on our behalf, God. Listo para hacer, Señor, para cuidar de nuestra parte en el nombre de Jesús. So, God, today we praise you. God, today we honor you. God, today we worship you. God, today we say thank you, Lord, for hearing us. Can I have, can I have somebody say thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer? Thank you, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Because our prayers are not in vain. In Jesus' name. Nuestras oraciones no son en vano en el nombre de Jesús. God, we honor you today. God, we worship you today. Your family, we love you. And we bless your santo name. We bless you in this day. Señor, que sea un derramamiento de tu espíritu. Let there be an outpouring of your spirit. In the name of Jesus. In this city. And Father, let it overflow to the surrounding city. In the name of Jesus. Que haya un derramamiento y que se desparrame hasta los hospitales. Señor, aleluya. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. God, it only took one Moses to take millions of people out of bondage, Father God. And God, we are one today. We are one body. One mind. God, we're going to take thousands, God, out of bondage, Father God, with your help. Because you have empowered us. You have anointed us. You have called us. You have predestined us, God, for such a time as this. And we honor you today. We give you praise. We give you honor. And we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen.
every city. Amen. Around the king, every city. Toda la ciudad. Are you ready? Ready. I said, are you ready? We're ready. Okay, Jesus, if you're gonna, 